Hello, this is a brief tutorial about reflection. You see Arnold is currently rendering a scene where we have a shadow here. You maybe barely see it, you'll see it in a, in a minute. And uh, it uh, renders um, a reflection down here. So let's go to the plane because the plane is uh, the object which does the reflections. And here in the attribute editor I have um, mapped the color with a ramp doesn't really matter here it's a ramp from blue this is kind of blue here to white and um, the metalness currently is set to one that means it's totally metallic if we reduce this the scene appears lighter but it actually is not lighter this is uh, the light coming from here. It's a spotlight which creates that shadow. Uh, is of course still working here uh, in the same way. We're just changing the metalness of the surface. So it's less metal-like. And uh, the specularity currently is set to zero. That means it's zero specular. Let's reduce the metalness to zero. So we have a totally opaque, non-reflective surface. Now, when we increase the specularity here, the weight goes, the weights you always go from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1. Let's uh, activate the weight. And the color. And now the reflection will reappear. The roughness makes it more more or less blurry. The index of refraction um, plays a role here as well. To see a very drastic contrast go to the presets and choose for example Chrome. Chrome has no color by itself as opposed to copper, for example. Copper has that metallic brownish look. Chrome is not white. Chrome is colorless. So it only works with the colors in the scene and nothing else. Those, there's no own color. Whatever I put in here, it's chrome. It ignores this color. So uh, it has a 100% sharp reflection here. Uh, as opposed to, for example, Plastic. Plastic has or can have a slight ref reflectivity. If you think of a plastic bag, it can of course make them sharper by reducing the roughness. Uh, final example here. Let's go to gold. The gold surface is similar to the chrome surface because it's totally metallic but it has that orange tint here and uh, a certain kind of roughness which uh, is typical for gold. Reflection is a matter of rendering so if you have lots of reflections because of many objects uh, in the scene and the reflection in the ground one object with the other competes in the re reflection on the ground then you need high specularity settings and they're not a matter of the standard surface shader but they're a matter of the render settings which you find here so before you go into the final rendering open this section and here you have the ray depth. They're probably closed. You have to open them. They're right here. And in the render settings uh, you find the ray depth. And the ray depth controls how many rays, virtual rays of course, Arnold shoots into the scene. And in our case this section here, the reflection, is a matter of the specularity. It's currently set to 2. I actually reduced it from the default setting of I think 3 because I don't need more reflections it's just fine if I pump it up to say 5 nothing changes because there's only this object reflecting in here so it needs time to render and to clean up the pixels and it takes a little bit longer the higher the value is so when you want to save uh, time 
and energy for your PC during rendering, play with these settings. If you reduce it to zero, the reflections are totally gone. And when you type in one here, they're here. So that's all I wanted to say. So the reflection is a matter of the shader and of the render settings. Bye bye.